Hello there folks, my name is Great Mighty Poe, and welcome to my Cinder's installation guide. We'll be covering both the Nexus version and the GitHub version. Uh, start with the Nexus version since that's the one most people are going to be going with. And let's get started. So, pop over here, this is the installation guide, this is on the wiki. And a few notes need to go through first. So you need to create a vanilla save. So if you don't have one of them, you need to create one. But you're going to get the save data as corrupted message. No, only do that once per account and not affected by updates. Uh, you need to make sure your game is set to English. If you don't, all the text in the mod will be wrong. This one here, Cinema 3. Some people have issues if, the, if Steam is set to online mode with Cinders, so set it to offline mode. I haven't had issues with it, so if you have issues, make sure this one is done. Uh, your save files are found here, and it's recommended to make a backup of them, or just move them. If you move them though, you're going to need to make another save before you install Cinders. So, uh, make sure you don't have any other mods installed. Just Sometimes you can run into compatibility issues, so best to be careful. Uh, if you want to find out if a particular mod is actually compatible, because there are some, best to ask on the Discord. And the step 6, UXM, is no longer supported, that's for extremely old versions of Cinders, so don't need to worry about that. Now we'll go through the actual install. So we need to head over to Nexus and download these files here. So click on this link, and it'll take you over to here. So you've got the main, the models, and the setup. You need to download all three of these if you're doing a fresh install. So, first time installing mod, you need all three. Let's so go over here, slow download, fast downloads Nexus Premium, so you won't have an option for that. Now if you're updating the mod, you're 100% going to need this one. And for models, it's a bit complicated. So let's say you download models for one version, and it's listed down here, then you don't need it again. If the version you download models for is not down here, which in this case is only for 2.09, then you're going to need models again. And then set up. You might not need this, but you might as well. Just check and make sure in your game folder that you have both hoodie patcher files and the chained in mod engine. If they're not, or you're not too sure, download the setup, pretty quick download this one. Models is the painful one, that will take you quite a while. So once you've got those three downloaded, yeah, it looks something like this. And I'll close that one. So you have these three. And now we need seven zip. So click on this link, it'll take you over to here. Click on that, download, install seven zip. Um has been stated by Velza that the 7-zip requirement isn't actually a thing anymore, but I find it's better than WinWare and other attractors anyway, so it's a good tool to have. So now we need to decompress them. So it's going to open this, go open with, and go 7-zip. And I'm just going to create a new folder here, and I'm just going to call this main. Doesn't matter. But, and just click and drag, drag it into there. Just take a little bit to extract, doesn't take too too long for this one. The real painful one will be next. So now we've got that one. We can close that. Now we've got models. So once again, open with 7-zip. Create a new folder. Okay, this whatever. And then drag and drop it in here. And this one will take a bit because the models folder is quite big. This is all your player weapons, armor, and a few new hairstyles, and a couple of beards, I think, so. Very cool stuff in here. If you don't have it, then you're going to have a lot of issues. Very, very exciting watching this bar slowly move forward.
getting there very slowly, but it's nearly done. Oh, right, there we go. And now we can close that. Now we can go back, and now we can do the setup. So, right click that, open with, 7 zip, and new folder. Doesn't matter what you call it. It's all just for extraction. And you just click and drag. You only need the bottom four, don't need to read me. So, drag them into there. And that one's instant. So, now we can close that, and we can go back. So, now we're going to go back to here. Now we need to move them into the Dark Souls 3 directory. So, that will be in C, game, Steam Apps, common, Dark Souls 3, game, 90% of the time. If you have it elsewhere, then you need to make sure it directs it to the folder with your exe. And so, what we do is, first actually, unlike on the guide where it does this last version, you can do setup stuff first. So we can drag all these in. And one thing I mentioned was creating a new save file. We've also got this option here in Mod Engine where you can create an alternate save file. So before you put in the rest of the synthesis files, if you want to use this, set this to 1, then boot up the game, create a new save file. Otherwise, you'll have that save data as corrupted message. So, one note about that. Now we can go back, and one thing you notice, both the main and the models have to folder cinders. It's not that big of an issue, drag and drop it in, so it goes to main. You notice in here there's not a parts folder, pay attention to that, because when we put in the models, drag and drop this over, when we go in here, there will now be a parts folder full of all sorts of lovely stuff. If you don't have that, something's gone wrong. Now we're going to go back to here, and we need to check some settings in Mod Engine. And I'll go over another setting in Mod Engine that you might want to pay attention to. So this is Mod Engine, showed it before for the alternate save thing. Other thing to keep an eye out for is this. If you want to play online, set this to zero. Things we actually need to check are load loose params, which should be one. Mod override directory, set it to one if it's not already. And the mod override directory should be slash cinders. So that's all good. So we can close that, and now we can launch Dark Souls 3, and we should get Cinders. So here on the main menu, we should have Cinders version 2.09. Then double check everything went right. We can go to create a new character. And there's something we can check here and it's really quick and make sure everything's fine. Go down to class, go up, check these two. If they look any funny, then you stuff up the models. This one here will just be a floating head and arms, and this one here will just be a floating sword, I'm fairly sure. So check that, make sure everything's fine. But that looks all good. And that concludes the Nexus Mods portion of this, so if that's what you came for, you can go away now. So now, we're going to get onto the GitHub installation. So before I get started on that, I'm going to actually clear out the Nexus stuff. Don't need that. There we go. So now we're over onto GitHub. Didn't actually go to the repository. Here we go. This is what you need. GitHub.com, Spouser, Session to DS3. And... You just click code, download a zip. Now, one thing to note about the GitHub repository, this is the playtest. So if you just go here, click this, you're gonna get the playtest version. Now you might be wanting that, because it can sometimes have some pretty cool changes. If you wanna check out the uh, changes for the playtest, it's all in here. Nothing has actually changed, because there's been no updates since 2.09 came out. So if you wanna see if any playtest changes, wanna see the playtest changes, this is where you'll find them. But we just want to get 2.09, even though it's the exact same. Go into here, select any version you want, click on it, and now when you download a zip, you will get 
this and we can open that up and we have all this now it is quite a large file and it can stuff up on the download I have had it where all these files here except for the git attributes were missing and I've had it where parts files have corrupted so it can be a bit finicky this way and it's not the one I'd recommend for github but it can work if Nexus is giving you trouble so you just need to send this folder mod engine hoodie patcher and input 8 and it's going to create a new folder and I'm just going to name this stuff because I'm lazy so we've got these five things just drag and drop them into here and of course we've got the parts folder in here as well because everything's bundled into the github version no separate downloads or anything so it's going to take a bit to do this so more staring at a green bar waiting for progress sorry about that Very, very stimulating. This is one of the most exciting things we've ever had to do. Totally didn't take me many, many attempts to get this video done. So I haven't watched this many, many times already. Hey, we're on to weapons finally. Getting slowly through all the parts. Definitely the most Definitely the most heavy part of the mod. The amount of parts there are in it. Oh, nearly there, just sound, and we should be done. And there we go. So we've got all that. Now we can go over to the game folder, and we can just drag and drop all this into here now. There we go. And once again, check the mod engine settings as normal. Make sure everything worked there. So, load loose params, mod override and mod for our directory so that looks all good and now we can launch the game and hopefully everything works which it should do Moment of truth. Hey, I didn't stuff up. Cool. So this version 2.09. Once again, check classes, make sure everything looks good. And yep, classes look good. So that's the first of the two GitHub options. The next one is the one I use, and it's definitely the one that I recommend, and that is GitHub Desktop. So Gonna put this in the description. This is GitHub Desktop. Download and install this. It is a very, very useful program. This is what it looks like. And pretty much what it allows you to do is anytime you want, you can pull changes directly from the GitHub. Which means updating is very, very simple. So I have two of them, and I'm just gonna show where this one is. So if you wanted to, this one's on another drive. I could just take all the stuff from here. So all this at any point and just move it over to my Dark Souls 3 game folder. 
But the other option that I have is actually directly in my Dark Souls 3 game folder. I have it in here as well. And one fun thing about Mod Engine is it can go through multiple folders. So in order to have it like this, you have to move everything out of your game folder because GitHub Desktop can't clone to a folder of stuff in it. Or you can create a blank folder and shove it in there and link through that. So actually cloning is pretty simple. Go to here, go to clone repository, then go to URL. And the one you want to put in is I'll go here, uh, master, then there, and then go click here. Let's copy it, and then back to GitHub Desktop, and then right click and paste. And there you go. And you click where you want to put that. Now I'm not actually going to do that, because it's going to take a very, very long time, and it'll be a really, really long video. So, can you trust me? So, with it in here, I can link through to two folders. So, I need to change mod engine to do that. So I'm going to copy this. Uh, yep. And then into mod engine. Oops, there we go. So I'm going to change it to this, slash cinders dear 3 slash cinders. And save that, because it's linking through this folder, and then into this folder where the mod is. So, and we can launch Dark Souls 3. And a moment of truth. Yep, everything went fine. Once again, check classes, see how everything went. Should be no issues though. And yep, we're all good. And so that is pretty much everything. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.